Thanks for spending your Friday afternoon with 2K Sports and the NBA. Hi, folks. This is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. And now let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. Ball is out there with Miller, and it's Williams in at the center position. And for the Heat, on the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Kyle Lowry, and it's Highsmith in at the four slot. Well, we're early in the season, but some teams are really struggling. Brent, is it too early to hit the panic button? Well, for most teams, absolutely. you got to let your guys gel and figure out their role. Building teams takes time. But, B.A., there are a few teams that might want to hammer that panic button. And so off the tip, it's Charlotte. Here's Miller. Pass to Bridges. Three-pointer. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for the Miami Heat. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. Yeah, they connected from outside all game. And the defense had absolutely no answer for them. Yeah, they sapped the energy right out of the building in that one. They just were knocking down threes. And it was deflating both for the team and the crowd. And more and more, Bam Adebayo loves to go with his mid-range shot. Yeah, he feels like it's getting to that automatic stage when he's at those elbows with that high-arcing soft touch that he has. And that high release makes it really tough to stop. No good on the free throw. And this summer, one of the Heat's own, Dwayne Wade, inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, Brent. What an amazing big game performer Dwayne Wade was during his entire career. 13-time All-Star, three-time champion, and he brought the organization their first title. That just says it right there. Dwayne Wade, the foundation, the rock of the Miami Heat. Good on the second one. Adebayo is by no means an ordinary big in this league. He's just one of the few players in the NBA who can legitimately guard one through five. A true defensive anchor. Here's Miller. Lays it up and banks it in. Hey, take it right to the defense. Not a bad way to start this game. Hayward against Butler. To the inside. And out of bio, the bucket on the assist from Butler. Just a great setup there. You can see how Jimmy Butler enjoys making plays. Pass to Williams. Bridges, right side. Let's it go from 11. And that one's long. Inside. And out of bio, slams it in. And Bam with great hands there to leap up and time that one. The Hornets have gone one for three so far. Hayward outside. Pass to Miller. Ball against Lowry. Five on the clock. From the top of the key. Yes, on the jumper. And here are the Heat. Butler on the wing. 156 left in the opening quarter. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Hayward, the pass to Miller. Offline with a three. The Heat have gone two of three from the floor. Now here's Robinson. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Robinson with a steal. Some solid defense from Williams. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Okay, it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look good. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about. 
no matter your age or your ability. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training, eat right, train right, but at the end of the day, it's pretty random. A minute 15 left in the first. Brian finds love. Lowry outside. Outside for Love. Puts up a three. The Hornets pull it in. They defeated Washington in their last game. They look like a whole new squad in the fourth quarter of that one. Showing up when it mattered most. And here comes the break. Lowry, the pass to Richardson. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. A new lineup here for Charlotte. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Smith outside. Pass to Smith. 27 seconds left to play in the first. Smith outside. It's Washington high post. Loves there. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight. Try to avoid the and one. And this time, they're not backing off. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. That set had a lot of rhythm, and that's at the hands of Kyle Lowry. Smith with it. Beyond the arc. And at the buzzer. Counted. Just textbook. Kept his cool and waited for his shot. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. It's the Hornets up one. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And from what we've seen from the Hornets, what's your take so far? They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. Yeah, looking for a spark here, and the coach tapped the right guys to get out there and provide it. Well, Brent, since you retired at 09, the game has really changed. What's your favorite part of how basketball is played now? Yeah, B.A., I think it's just the amount of skill and freedom that the really coaches have allowed guys to play with. There's so much skill on the floor at every position, and it's a read and react offense. So the smarter you are, the more that you can process, and the quicker that you can do that, you can get advantage every time. And when you start to see those teams flow, it starts to become something really special. It's always been about shooting. Maybe the league forgot about it for a That's couple great. of years. On the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then it's Kyle Lowry. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And it's Highsmith in at the four. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Charlotte making some changes. Hayward, he's checked in for McGowan's. Miller comes in for Smith. And LaMelo Ball is subbed in for Smith. Now here's Butler. Still without a bucket. goes for it inside. Forward size with guard handles. Butler showing us how he can manipulate the ball there. And what really separates Jimmy Butler as a player is competitive fire, Brent. B.A., you see that wall over there? Go ask Jimmy to run through it. Guess what? He'll do it twice. He'll go through it one way, turn around, and come back. I mean, this guy has got incredible willpower, and when the stakes are highest, he's at his best. All right, time for an injury report. All right, a chance to check in on Bam out of bio. What do you have, Allie? I had a moment to catch up with the Heat's head athletic trainer. He said it's a sprained wrist. Doesn't look like any torn ligaments, but considerable pain and swelling. They are going to keep him on the sidelines tonight, and it may be a few more games until he's ready to get back on the court. Guys? Well, we appreciate it, Allie. Hoping to see him back on the court soon, guys. They really hope to have him back, but it's so crucial that he's healthy when he returns. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. The Miami Heat are a team of underdogs and overachievers. Their all-star big man Bam Adebayo said, quote, we like guys like that with those stories of I got cut, this and that in the third. You know, blue-collar people. 
that had to work for what they got. And Brian, when you play for the Heat, hard work is what keeps you on the court. That is the truth. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. That misses, so he splits the free throws. He's shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front, but at least they're tied up. Shot clock at five. From the strike. The Hornets pull it in. Ball's got four rebounds now. Hayward for three. The rebound by Lowry. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Heat. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Pass to Robinson. Now Martin. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Washington takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Bryant outside. A minute and a half left in the first half of this one. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Yeah, the instant LaMelo sees the opening, he's moving the ball. He jumps at the chance to feed a wide open guy. Pass to Martin. Outside Robinson. Here's Highsmith. They get the rebound. And that one's good, Bryant. And the long arms of Thomas Bryant getting the job done. The Hornets have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Miller, the pass to Ball. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And you don't see many six, seven point guards. But that's not all that stands out with LaMelo Ball, Graham. Yeah, not just a creator. He's a creative with the artistic inspiration to make plays that most of us couldn't envision, much less accomplish. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for Ball. And you watch Charlotte. Boy, they play with pace, Grant. Oh, B.A., they tend to get a lot of shots up. Heavy volume team. But when those shots are falling, they can compete against anyone. A nice shot by Butler. That is a tough two right there from Butler. Really his calling card. Rugged play and 100% effort. Now here's Ball. Five points in the game. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Lowry outside. Pass to Richardson. Here's Jaquez. Some solid defense from Williams. He gets it up. And no good. Well, this is why they got Richardson. It's because of the defensive end. He holds his ground on that position and nothing easy. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Hornets out in front, leading by one. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not letting them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, just not letting them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. 
the first quarter for the Hornets was fairly even. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so little ground was lost there. Kenny, let's get your take on Charlotte. The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy. They were able to get the start as a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second unit. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice shots. Those were some much needed points. They keep them right in the game. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. LaMelo Ball with a strong contribution so far in this one. It's not easy to own a game through your work on the glass, but he's managed to do it thus far. Miami trailing. On the court for the Hornets. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. Miller is out there with LaMelo Ball. And it's Williams in at the five down low. Lowry no good. The Hornets shooting 37% from the floor at this point. Driving in. Miller can't get it to go. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Lowry. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. And Ball will bring it up here for Charlotte. They lead by one. They'll take on the Magic at Amway Center after this one. That'll be the second of four games total on the road for him. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. The Heat making a switch here. Bryant's checked in. Brent, what a player Kyle Lowry has become. Over 15 years in the league and still going strong. Yeah, it's amazing how Kyle has done such a remarkable job as being reliable and being available for when it counts the most. I mean, when he's on the floor, there's so many little things that Kyle's able to do to impact winning. And that's where the value really shines through. The Heat have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Bam Adebayo is a defensive force. Coach Eric Spolster said, quote, he makes us different. Our team is built around his toughness and his versatility. You can count on one hand in this association how many guys can literally guard one through five. And he's at the very top of that list. That's unique unto itself, Brian. Yeah, very special, Allie. Thanks for that. Here's Miller. Steps back and fires. And Ball gets it to go. Ball's got seven points in the game. Yeah, terrific work from the mid-range. Ball has an impressive feel when to take these shots. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Well, we always hear about heat culture. How would you define it, Brent? Well, I think what they do is just find guys who are hungry. And then they do a great job of starving you during the year. And what I mean by that is just making it competitive. You're going to earn everything you get if you're a member of the Miami Heat. And that includes playing time. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. The Hornets making a switch here. And here's a look at some numbers for Bam Adebayo. Back up, back up, back up. 
Lowry, the pass to Martin. Two minutes into the second half of play now. It's blocked. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. A nice shot by Smith. Yeah, when Hayward has the ball, he watches all the angles. That's how he finds wide open guys to feed. Now here's Lowry. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Robinson on the wing. Back to Lowry. Just five to shoot. Releases. Here's Bryant. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And here now are the teams that have made a difference with their defense in the past ten games. The Heat, fourth. They've turned up the Heat defensively over this last stretch, trying to force more turnovers. That's been their game. Throw good. Brian. Well, Brian Hornets head coach Steve Clifford said that the team needs to start winning if they want to keep LaMelo ball. And he's not wrong, B.A. I mean, they view ball as the cornerstone of the franchise, but they have to give him a reason to stay. He is indeed a special talent, and winning is his ultimate priority. And both free throws good for Brian. Brian can go right at you, and he's such a big guy, he's going to draw some fouls. Smith outside. Smith outside. Washington outside. And they get it back. Fades away. The bank shot, no good. Mixing it up inside, just coming up empty-handed. Martin outside. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, that's good. When Martin puts the ball in his teammates' hands, good things happen. To the middle. From in deep. Smith, no good. Hard to convert against that kind of defense oppression. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And, yep, it's good. Now, so much of offensive rebounding is about timing, and that's how Martin got in there to take advantage of the defense. Ryan against Smith. And it's rejected. Ryan against Smith. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got four points this quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And here's Smith. Over Richardson. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Heat out in front. They lead by three. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then there's Josh Richardson, and it's Highsmith in at the power forward position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Now here's Williams. Here's Hayward. Ooh, good work defensively by Butler. Robinson with it. Guarded now by Williams. Cutting into this lead. 
they're well within striking distance. Yeah, just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. Miller can't get it to go. The Heat with the lead. Down low. Here's Jaquez. Williams grabs the board. And Ball will bring it up here for Charlotte. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Pass to Miller. Back to Ball. Unloads. Nails the wide open jumper. And the Heat shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Butler passes to Jaquez. Outside Butler from deep. Oh, Butler with the confidence from the perimeter. And look out when Jimmy Butler feels confident and comfortable from deep. Ball outside. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's on Josh Richardson. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Heat? Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. And you want to talk about ball distribution? They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. They're dropping dime after dime. The first one falls. you got to respect the enthusiasm LaMelo Ball brings to his game. He thrives out here under the bright lights with all eyes on him. Lowry, he's checked in for Richardson. And a change for the Hornets. Miles Bridges checked in for Washington. And so Ball nails both of them. In a tight game, this is who they want taking these shots. The Heat have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Lowry against Ball. Lowry, the pass to Robinson. Here's Jaquez. The rebound by Bridges. The Hornets have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Ball passes to Williams. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Smart play call to get him something at the rim. While well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. They're leading by two. 157 left in the fourth quarter. Time now to present our new balance player of the game, Jimmy Butler. Incredible. I mean, he found his rhythm out there tonight, and he's really let his offense come to him. He hasn't forced the issue, and because of this, it's allowed him to get into a comfort zone. Well, let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Eric Spolster's huddle. This might be a close late game, but don't tell Coach. They were cool as a cucumber in the huddle, and I think that resonates with their players. We'll see if that approach works. Brian? All right, appreciate it, Allie. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Highsmith. Outside Butler. A minute 29 left to play in the fourth quarter. For three, Robinson. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got his eighth rebound here tonight. It's Bridges on the wing. Shoots from 14. Jaquez grabs the board. 
I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Here's Jaquez. Ooh, Williams with the block. Bridges outside. Here's Ball. The layup misses. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. He didn't Martin. have his feet planted. Side out. The Heat making a switch here. Martin's checked in. And here's Butler outside. On target from range. Time out, time out. And the Heat lead by seven. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. Oh, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Charlotte calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Miller. No good on the quick three. And here are the Heat now. Seven-point game. Biggest lead so far. Pass to Lowry. Takes a three. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Now here's Lowry. To the paint. Outside Robinson. Four on the clock. From 12 feet. That one doesn't drop. So it's Miami picking up the win. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Very soon. Jimmy, let's talk about defense. What clicked for you down the stretch? We was locked in on our schemes. Uh, I think we did a great job of our rotation and our second effort. But uh, all in all, man, we executed on both ends in the fourth quarter. It takes everybody. Thanks, Jimmy. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you later.